Yo, what is going on? You're checking out QGN HQ. My name is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. So if you're a serious gamer, you know that if you have the proper gaming gear, that sometimes can really make all the difference. And it might even make you a better gamer by giving that one up edge on the competition. That's why I'm really excited to check out today's product from Pulsar. This is their latest. This is the Super Glide Glass mouse pad. And if you guys do like anything you see here, like always, check the video description if you want to pick anything up. And if you have any questions for me, holler at me down below in the comment section and be sure to subscribe. All right, guys, let's break this down. This is the Super Glide Glass mouse pad by Pulsar Gaming. Off the bat, this pad weighs a decent amount and they ship this mouse pad in some really nice packaging. This being entirely glass, I was curious on how it would arrive and it shipped super securely. It is completely surrounded in foam. Inside, we get a large Super Glide sticker, some paperwork, and then we have the desk pad itself. Now, Pulsar sent this out for review. I had no idea which pad color or size I'd receive and all opinions are my own. Luckily, they sent the extra large Super Glide in red with the Super Branding logo on the top side. I actually really dig this color. I think it's really attractive looking, and I think a lot of other people out there would agree. Underneath, we have a full rubber grip that extends across the entire pad, not just four small corners of footing. This is very nice to see, and it should adhere nicely to your desk. Now, if this color isn't for you, it is sold in two other colors, a more minimal black and white with no logo on the top side. Now, this pad is also sold in two sizes, large and extra large. The large comes in at 420 by 330 millimeters for $85. And the extra large that we have here today comes in at 490 by 420 millimeters for $95. So it's a $10 difference between each size. Now, that price may seem pretty steep, and I'm sure majority of that is due to the weight, size, and packaging required to deliver this glass pad. But if I had to choose between the two, if you got the room, I'd spend the extra 10 bucks as I've personally never complained of having too much mouse pad room. I've only complained of having too little. So I tested this Super Glide glass pad by playing a few popular games that I love, such as Apex Legends and Valorant. Now, I am no pro gamer. I am just a filthy casual like the majority of us gamers out there. And I used two different mice for this test. The two mice that I chose are the Final Mouse Starlight 10s edition in medium with a weight of 47 grams and the latest Final Mouse release, which is the Starlight Last Legend in small with a weight of 40 grams, both using the stock PTFE glides that they are sold with. Now, I chose these two mice as they're currently the ones I've been maining on my everyday cloth pad for some time now, so I should have an easier time picking up on any subtle differences. Starting with Apex Legends. Now, I tend to play Apex with a higher DPI, and I use mostly wrist and micro movements. Now, I mostly play and prefer a mid-weight medium-sized mouse in general, so I expected an overall natural feel to this. The micro-movements were precise, and I feel absolutely no drag in these short movements. The glide has to be some of the best that I have felt. Now, to my surprise, when I swapped to the smaller mouse, I still had pinpoint control, and pairing this smaller mouse with my movements overall, it did feel snappier, and my accuracy was still pretty consistent. Now, to be honest, I really wasn't expecting this. If you guys remember my original Super Glide Glass Mouse Feet review, I did mention how insanely buttery smooth the glide was, but the hard stops took much more practice as it was a bit tougher to control, and it was for sure a learning curve to get that mouse to come to a full stop accurately. So I was expecting the glide on this mouse pad to be extremely hypersensitive, but I was dead wrong. The mouse pad has a very, very slight texture to the top of it, almost like a matte finish, which made stopping on a dime much more natural and achievable. Now, if you were thinking of pairing your Super Glide glass mouse feet with this glass mouse pad, that's not going to work. Glass on glass is going to cause scratching and you will definitely damage these products, so don't do that. If you're worried about this glass mouse pad possibly breaking on you, though I'm not going to say it's impossible, it's going to be pretty tough to do so, as this glass pad is crafted in a multi-layered construction featuring multiple shatterproof layers, as well as using a main layer of Gorilla Glass. So they're basically using the same glass that we find in most of our everyday tech, like phones and tablets, Pretty scratch resistant and super durable. Now I've been using this Super Glide glass pad for a while now and it still looks brand new all while holding a consistent feel and finish. Next up is Valorant. Now in this game I tend to play with a much lower DPI and I use more of my arm for tracking. With the medium mouse I had no issues with tracking and it for sure was improved on this glass pad compared to a regular cloth pad. Smooth, consistent, no friction. The smaller mouse was the same thing, just provided even faster tracking for me, which I attribute to the slight weight difference and having a smaller mouse in hand overall. Now, my personal experience in both of these games was a positive one. I for sure had snappier and smoother tracking, but when it comes to actual aiming, I don't care what you're playing on, that just comes down to the player. For me, the Super Glide Glass Mouse Pad is an overall improvement from the Glass Mouse Feet, 
I had better tracking, better stops, and better control. One aspect to keep in mind while using a glass pad is the regular maintenance that it requires. Unlike a cloth pad that could absorb some dirt before needing a thorough cleaning, a glass pad requires frequent dusting as even a small amount of dust or hair can greatly impact your gameplay, turning that smooth glide into a rough one. To keep the pad in optimal condition, I suggest having a microfiber cloth handy, or if you're like me and want to be extra diligent, using a USB powered desk vacuum here with some soft bristles or even an air blower. This will ensure that your glass pad is always game ready. As I played with this pad for a longer period of time, I did notice a few factors that may or may not affect the gaming experience for some individuals. Firstly, the pad is made of glass and therefore it's quite cold to the touch. Even in a controlled room temperature, this thing always holds a slight chill. And I'm sure it will only get even colder when you got that air conditioned blowing at full blast. Now personally, I like this, but I can easily see this being an issue for gamers who get cold hands. Secondly, if you're a gamer who prefers to play with long sleeves or hoodie sleeves, you might actually find this pad to be more suited to your needs as the material will glide much better on this glass pad compared to a cloth one, as you will literally have no friction and that may improve your gameplay. Thirdly, the grip on this mouse pad is something that I wish I could replicate on every mouse pad going forward, glass or cloth. This is no joke, you really have to go out of your way to move this glass pad. Yeah, it being glass it for sure has some heft to it, but the rubber grip strips on the back are utterly perfect. I don't care how hard you swing your arms across this pad while gaming, it ain't budging. Lastly, if you're a gamer who doesn't use a sleeve and you tend to play maybe in a hotter environment or generally just sweat a lot, your arm may start to stick to this pad just like it would stick to a glass table on a hot day. That definitely could get annoying and actually end up slowing you down. Although these factors did not impact my personal experience, I believe it's important to mention them for those who may be affected. In conclusion, this Superglide mouse pad provides an exceptional feel and performance for both medium and lightweight mice. The glide on this glass pad was actually great. It wasn't as fast as a Superglide mouse feet, which overall I think is a good thing. I for sure felt more control like I would get from a cloth pad, all while having a smoother surface to do so, which for sure improved my tracking. And the hard stops for me were even better. So if you have good aim on a cloth pad, I don't see why you wouldn't have good aim on the Superglide glass mouse pad. In turn, Better hard stops paired with improved tracking just makes for an overall better product. I don't see many people being disappointed in this as I feel improved glide speed overall is just always a bonus. But the question is, will this make you a better gamer? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. If the conditions are right for you, I highly recommend it for any gamer looking to enhance their gaming experience. It for sure is a niche product that in the end is truly specific to a person's needs. And like everything else, practice makes perfect. So that is my take on the Superglide glass mouse pad, but I'm really curious on what your opinion is on this glass pad in general. How many of you guys out there are planning on picking up one of these pads? What size would you pick up and what do you think of the colorway options? And do you think this will make you a better gamer? I'm really curious to what your thoughts are. So if you guys are new here, like always, please consider subscribing. I wanna grow this community bigger and better and I can only do that with the help of you guys. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, maybe share it with a friend. And that's it for me, guys. Most importantly, you guys all stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. She's burning to death. What she's doing? She's got Second like a little out. alcove. Ooh. <laughs> she's warping out. <laughs> oh, she's gonna die, boys. Let's go. <laughs> I love you guys.